Dad, guess what? What? Today we had a biotechnician come and talk to our class about biotechnology. What did they talk about? Well, they first talked about how gene technologies are used to manipulate genes and alter organisms for human use and to improve human lives. Like plant breeding, a method of transferring beneficial genes directly into a plant, which allowed for greater efficiency and new opportunities for improving crops. This process is called genetic modification or genetic engineering, and the result is a genetically modified organism. GMOs are used in microbes for environmental cleanups, such as cleaning oil spills. They also talked about recombinant DNA, DNA that has been recombined by genetic engineering. They use cloning and stem cell techniques to research animal development and potentially treat certain diseases. But I'm not sure what a clone is. A clone is an organism or piece of genetic material that is genetically identical to one that was pre-existing. But one problem with cloning is that the cloned offspring don't usually live for long. The biotech industry is definitely growing, but there are some challenges faced by this domain. Number one, there are high levels of risk. Number two, many people can't afford it. Number three, genetically modified food adoption. And number four, societal concerns such as environmental harm, bioterrorism, and ethical issues. The basic tools for genetic manipulation include restriction enzymes, gel electrophoresis, denaturation, and hybridization. Restriction enzymes recognize a specific sequence of DNA called the restriction site. This is where the enzyme will cut the DNA strands. Denaturation is when conditions such as heat or strong chemicals cause DNA to untwist and split into single strands. Hybridization is when single-stranded segments of DNA or RNA are mixed together under the right conditions. Gel electrophoresis separates samples of molecules such as DNA or proteins into bands that are ordered by size. It is used to determine genetic alikeness. Gel electrophoresis is a method used for DNA fingerprinting and can confirm the identity of criminals, family members, and dead bodies. So we just got to get this to the DNA lab, have them confirm it is our victim's blood, and then um, case closed. So there's some more information about biotechnology to go along with what the guy told you in class. Oh, wow. Okay. Thank you all for watching. And remember, learning is always within reach.